Dear students, I cordially welcome you all to this class. The second part of chapter 6, Holy Bible, the written word of God. Let's begin this class with a prayer by Saint Thomas Aquinas, who was a great philosopher and theologian of the Catholic Church. Come Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, true source of light and fountain of wisdom, pour forth your brilliance upon my dense intellect, dissipate the darkness which covers me, that of sin and of ignorance. Grant me a penetrating mind to understand, a retentive memory, method and ease in learning, the lucidity to comprehend and abundant grace in expressing myself. Guide the beginning of my work, direct its progress and bring it to successful completion. This I ask through Jesus Christ, true God and true man, living and reigning with you and the Father forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear students, I hope that you remember what we have learned in the last class. We have seen in the previous class the history of divine revelation, phases of divine revelation, Bible, the word of God in written form, canonical nature of Bible, various translations of Bible and Bible, the book inspired by God. So today we focus on the remaining three objectives. So the objectives for today's class are narrate the areas where the importance of Bible manifest, explain the meanings of Holy Bible, describe the principles to keep in mind while interpreting Bible. So now let us look at the importance of Bible in different areas. Bible has greatly influenced human history and culture. Inspired by Bible, man has produced immortal works in the field of art, literature, paintings, music, sculpture, etc. And these have played a very important role in man's ideological growth. Bible proclaims human dignity and equality and a source of values like fraternity, peace, harmony, etc. When we look at music, Bible played an important role in the creation and performance of music in America. Psalms, spiritual songs and hymns were developed based on Bible. When you look at literature, Bible has gifted ample number of quotations, phrases, vocabularies to literature. The whole of the English poetry is much indebted to Bible for its dignity and richness. Paintings Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper in 15th century is one of the most admired, most studied and most reproduced paintings the world has ever known. Sculpture Pieta by Michelangelo is a popular one. Pieta means pity or compassion. It represents Mother Mary sorrowfully contemplating the dead body of her son 
which she held in her lap. Michelangelo was deeply religious and it was inspired by his deep abiding faith. Now let's see what are the meanings of holy bible. The different meanings of bible are described under literal sense, spiritual sense, symbolic sense, moral sense and anagogical sense. The literal sense the meaning is conveyed by the words of scripture and discovered by exegesis following the rules of sound interpretation. Exegesis means critical interpretation of scriptures. The second is spiritual sense. By spiritual meaning we understand the message that gives strength to the spiritual growth of man. Third is symbolic sense. We can acquire a more profound understanding of events by recognizing its importance of Christ. Thus, the crossing of the Red Sea is a sign or type of Christ's victory and also of Christian baptism. Moral sense. Saint Paul says, they were written for our instructions. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 11. So we derive moral values in terms of divinity of married life, relationship between children and parents, and also the value of life from Bible. Following are few verses on divinity of married life. Genesis 2.24 says, Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and clings to his wife, and they become one flesh. St. Mark chapter 10 verse 9 says, Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Now we have few verses which speaks about the parent and child relationship. Exodus 20, 12 says, Honor your father and mother so that your days may be long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. Some verses on the value of life, Psalm 127 3 says sons are indeed a heritage from the Lord the fruit of the womb is a reward Isaiah 49 15 says I will not forget you I have inscribed you on the palms of my hand the word of God thus remains as an inspiration for our lives. The next meaning, anagogical sense. Anagog is a Greek word suggesting a climb or ascent upwards heavenly life. So, we must read and interpret the word of God with an orientation to heaven. The third Objective is principles for interpretation of Bible, which is based on the Council of Vatican II. Pay attention to the content and unity of the whole Bible. Though there are differences in the books of Bible, there is a unity running through the presentation of entire Bible. This basis of unity is the unity of divine revelation. The living tradition of the whole church must be taken into account which exist between the elements of the faith. Independent interpretations may go wrong. Interpretation of the Bible must be based on Christian faith 
and teachings of the church magistrate so students we have learned the importance of bible in different areas of life the various meanings of bible and the things to keep in mind while interpreting bible so the activity for this class is explain how you as a young christian derive guidance inspiration and direction from the holy bible in your daily life you can write it for one page that makes up about 250 words so remember the words of saint jerome the father of biblical studies of the catholic church ignorance of scripture is ignorance of christ when we pray we speak to god but when we read god speak to us now let's see the importance of reading holy bible god's book reveals god's thoughts bible is a book full of the thoughts of god it brings into light god's will god's opinion and what he desires his people to live by isaiah 55 8 to 11 verses reveals that god's thoughts and ways are higher than ours just like the rain and the snow that comes down from above to nourish the earth god's thoughts comes down to earth through his words so that our life can be fruitful god's word illuminates the path we should take there is always a right way and a false way to walk in every circumstance in our life psalm 119 104 to 105 verses through your precepts i get understanding therefore i hate every false way your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path god's word is food for our spirit just like we must feed our bodies to stay strong physically we must feed our spirit to stay strong spiritually jeremiah chapter 15 16 says your words were found and i ate them and your words became to me a joy and the delight of my heart god uses his word to prune and correct us second timothy chapter 3 verse 16 to 17 says all scripture is inspired by god and is useful for teaching for reproof for correction and for training in righteousness so that everyone who belongs to god may be proficient equipped for every good work god's word makes faith come alive faith is awakened by hearing the word of god it can be the faith for healing faith for salvation faith for everything god promises through the word of god romans chapter 10 17 says so faith comes from what is heard and what is heard comes through the word of christ i pray that learning this chapter on holy bible has inspired all of you to develop a practice of reading the word of god in your day to day life before we conclude let us thank god almighty for helping us to understand this class in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen